Would you rather go with this animation, this one, or this one? While all three have the same two-position keyframes, the first one is slightly boring, so how can a beginner upgrade his basic animation to a new level? See if we take the default cube and try to animate it on the vertical axis, which is super simple if you're familiar with keyframing in Blender, so you can just set the timeline, hit I on the first frame to add a key on all transformation. Then you can move the cube up, maybe rotate it along the vertical axis with a small amount, and hit I again to set another key at the end. Now, if we play the animation, and since it's by default on Bezier interpolation, it will start easy, fasten up in the middle, then end easy. What we can do from here is simple. We can open a graph editor to control those three motions. Enable normalize from up top, then we need to keep only the vertical axis for the location animation, so you can turn off the rest to not get confused by it. Here, we have two control points on each keyframe we added. We can rotate them, scale them, adjust their place, and this will affect the animation speed. Like, if I scale the first control point, it will make the start slower, then the speed will jump fast, and of the graph you will notice, the more the graph is settled to horizontal, the more slow it gets and vice versa. Thus, once it go vertical, the speed will increase fast. So if we go back and rotate the two control point to make the animation slow at mid, the graph should look like this, which is a dope move in products animation. We can rotate it back to normal, then scale the control point to flip the motion. Thus, the speed will go up in the middle, and that can go well if you want to make things pop up from a surface like water. You can for sure go free with editing each point alone to get a smooth animation to whatever you have in mind. Like if we have a rocket and we animate it with two key frame, the accurate motion should go slow at first, then speed up. So we need to extend or scale the first point to make it horizontal. Then we can adjust the end to extend the animation more or just to get it outside the shot, because we're not following it to space. And that's it. Do like and share if you find this useful, and see you next time if no zombie apocalypse occurred. Stay sharp. Goodbye.